First, good morning everyone. My name is Michael Jumpin of Thor and ma'am, I'm now going to have my first demo teaching. So my topic will be all about the sentence structure. So good morning. So I hope you enjoy my video. By the way, I am from third year BSE 2018. So come on, let's start. Let's start. Okay, good morning class. Okay, good morning. Okay, so before we start on our class, kindly pick all the trashes on the floor. Maglinis mo na. Maglinis mo na ng floor. Medyo madumi. Okay. Okay na ba? Okay. So, all done. Lahat na ba nakapag ano? Okay. So, pwede bang paayos ng mga chairs? Papantay naman para maayos. Okay. Dito banda, papantay dito. Okay. All done. All clear. Okay na ba? Okay. So, before we start, can we call? So, sino mag-pray ngayon? Nasaan ba si uh, Miss Sudario? Where's Miss Sudario? Can you read the prayer? Okay. Okay, in Jesus' name we pray, Amen and Amen. Okay, so, kamusta? How's everyone? How's your vacation, Miss, I know, Miss Kapili? Oh, nice to hear. Nice, ang productive naman. Yes, Miss uh, Cobrador, how's your vacation? Oh, nice, good to hear. Mukhang lahat naging productive, ah. So, Further that, okay, uh, more than that, uh, anyone who can recap the lesson yesterday? Yes, Mr. Erot. Mm -hmm. What's the lesson yesterday? Mm -hmm. Good job. So, we have, yes, we have, our lesson for yesterday is about verb tenses. So, what are those verb tenses? Give one. Okay. Yes, Miss Odario. Exactly, we have what we call the present tense. And the second one, yes, Miss Amito. Okay, good job. We have the present tense. At number three, let's call uh, Buenaflor. Okay, we have the future tense. Exactly, so we have... Three, we have uh, three verb tenses, okay? So, give one example of future tense. Yes, Miss Kapi. Okay, good job. And give one example of future tense. Yes, Miss uh, Ratada. Okay, good job naman. Okay, so, let's, what is uh, present tense? Yes, Miss... What's your name? Bam Giriva. Okay. Okay, good job, class. Okay, so I uh, so mukha namang alam niyo na yung mga uh, verb tenses. So now, we will going to have our very new topic. So medyo bago. So before we uh, have our main topic for today, we're going to have our motivation or tinatawag nating what tinatawag nating icebreaker. So okay, who's excited for our icebreaker? Okay, so our icebreaker for today is what we call Say what I say and do what I say. Are you guys ready? Okay. Say what I say and do what I say. Okay, good job. Okay, so can you clap? Yan, galing-galing naman. So, ayan, so natapos na activity natin. So, now we're going to have our topic. So, our topic for today Today's class is all about what we call sentence structure. So, who's ready for it? Yes, Miss Kapili, what is a sentence for you? Can I call uh, more? Uh, yes, Miss uh, Mr. Jig Kapokian, what is a uh, sentence? Oh, good job. That is a sentence. And what more? Mr. Erot, what is a sentence? Oh, exactly. Good job. Good job, class. Good job. Good job. And yes, may umahabol. Yes, Miss Odario, what is a sentence for you? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. All, uh, all class, you have 
the right answer, okay? So now we're going to define what is a sentence, okay? So according to my PowerPoint, sentence is a group of words that are put together to mean something. A complete sentence that has at least a subject and a main verb. A state declare a complete thought. So for example of a sentence, she walks in the street. She is the subject, walks is the verb. Okay, so sentence siya kasi meron siyang verb at meron siyang tinatawag na subject. Very good class. Very good. Okay, so now we're going to have this uh, clauses. Okay, we have independent clause at meron tayong tinatawag na Dependent, dependent at independent clause. So first, what is dependent clause? Ito yung mga uh, salita or sentence na kayang mapag-isa. For example, I passed the exam. I is the subject. Pass is the verb. Okay, I passed the exam. So it is considered as independent clause. It has a complete idea or idea. Tama. Okay, so now we're going to have the dependent clause. So, for example, of dependent clause is, I studied because I studied well. So, hindi siya kompleto. It has no complete thought. So, kapag pinagsama natin siya, pagkaka magkakaroon tayo ng complete thought. Pag pinagsama natin yung independent clause at yung dependent clause, I passed the exam because I studied well. Okay. Nagets ba kung anong differences nila? Okay, is it clear? Okay, crystal? Clear. Crystal? Clear. Okay. Right now here, we have uh, three types of sentence structure. Can you read Mr. Kapukyan? Number one is a simple sentence. Number two is, yes, Miss Kapili or Kapili. Yes, compound sentence. Exactly, yes. Uh, Janus. Okay, complex sentence. So, we have three types of sentence structure according to structure. Okay, we have three sentences structure types. Okay, so let's go on the first part. The simple sentence. Okay, yes. Can you read it, Mr. Kapokyan? What is a simple sentence? Okay. Nice. So, sabi dito, a simple sentence is are made of one independent clause and therefore form of complete thought. So, kanina, we've discussed about clauses, right? So, clause independent, ito yung kayang mag-isa. At for example, yung simple sentence is, does she live in Paris? So, yung verb dyan? Yes, Miss Kapili. Live. Ano yung subject sa simple sentence na yan? Yung word na? She. Exa exactly. So, good job, good job, good job. So, number two example of simple sentence we have here, he doesn't teach math. Yes. Um, Gran, what is the verb of that? Yes, exactly. Teach is the verb and the subject is the word he. Exactly. Good job. And number three we have here, cut, hate, water. So, yung verb dyan? Completed ba siya? Completed ba siya? Cat is the subject and the verb is the word hate. Exactly. Nice. Good job. And lastly, for the simple sentence, we have here, every child likes an ice cream. Yes, Miss Lupena or Lupena. What is the verb of the sentence? Exactly. The verb in the sentence is the word likes and the subject is Child, exactly. Good job. Good job, good job, good job. Okay, good job. So, uh, meron siyang independent clause. It, it also considered as complete thought. So, it is a simple sentence. It has a one independent clause and a complete thought. That is a simple sentence. Okay, good job, class. Good job, good job, good job. We have here the, what we call the compound sentence. Compound sentence? Yes, Mr. Kapukyan, can you read it? Exactly. Sabi the compound sentence are made of two independent clauses joined in one of the following way. And it has a 
conjunction with akama. So a conjunction, we have here the acronym fan voice. Fan voice stands for for and neither, but, or, yet, and so. Usually, the uh, yung coordinating conjunction ginagamit siya sa pang, uh, pangalawang tot ng sentence. Okay, so we're going to have our example on here para mas madaling maintindihan. Okay, are you guys, uh, are your class ready? Okay, so examples of compound sentence we have here. I am counting my calories, comma, yet I really want a dessert. I am counting my calories. It has a com it has an independent clause. Okay, yet, uh, it was inserted by a coordinating conjunction. The word yet, I really want a dessert. So, compound sentence, two independent clauses. Okay. So, he ran number two. He ran out of money. So, he had to stop playing poker. He ran out of money. Independent clause. He is the subject. Diba? Ran out or ran is the verb. Tapos, uh, and then the word so is considered as coordinating conjunction. So, he had to stop playing poker. Okay? Two independent clauses. Number three. She did not cheat on the test. For it was wrong thing to do. She did not cheat on the test for it was wrong to do. So, for is the coordinating conjunction. Okay, so two independent clauses, diba? In the sentence, it is considered as compound sentence. Okay, is it clear? Okay, good job class. Good job, good job, good job. The third point or the third sentence structure that, that we call complex sentence. What is a complex sentence? It is a mix with independent clause and independent clauses. Okay, so here's the example of a complex sentence. After the sun, we built a campfire. Dependent clause is after the sun. And then, uh, independent clause is built a campfire. That is the independent clause. Number two example, we build a campfire after the sunset. We built the campfire is considered as independent clause. Okay? Because it has a verb and a subject. And after the sunset, dependent clause. It has a, not a complete idea. So, may kulang. Okay, so it is a complex sentence. Example more of complex sentence. Because my copy was too cold, I heated in in the microwave. Because my copy was too cold, I heated it in the microwave. Because of my copy was too cold is a uh, dependent clause. Uh, it was combined with a uh, word independent. Uh, I heated in the microwave. Gets? Okay? Is it clear? Number two, although he was healthy, he was still unhappy. Although he was healthy, he was still unhappy. Okay? Although he was still wealthy is a dependent clause. And the independent clause for that is he was still unhappy. Okay? Number three, she returned the computer after she noticed it was damaged complex sentence okay because it has one independent clause and one dependent clauses number four whenever price goes up customer buy less products gets is it clear one independent clause and one dependent clauses so once you see this it is uh, considered as complex sentence okay class very good very good very, very good For uh, five minutes to answer this exercise, we have a quiz, okay? And here's the question of uh, the quizzes. Number one, the bell rang. Yes, Miss Katili. What is the answer? Exactly. It is a simple sentence. Okay, good job. Number two, Paul ran uh, at first of the race and make a bike at the second part. What is it? So it is a compound sentence because it has one one no it has two independent clauses number three he stands at the bottom of the cliff while the climber moves up with the rocks so it is a complex sentence good job class good job number four the sky turned jump it is a 
simple sentence. Good job. Number five. We have here, I studied the exam last night. So it is, what is it? Is it a simple sentence? Congratulations, class. Good job, good job. So I hope you understand our topic for today. It's about the sentence structure. We have first up, simple sentence. Number two is compound sentence. At number three, and number three, we have complex sentence. So, now we're going to have our assignment for tomorrow. So, okay, our assignment for tomorrow, tomorrow is give five examples of five simple of simple sentence, compound sentence, and compound and complex sentence. Five each. Okay, so I hope you watch and I hope you understand on my topic. So, thank you so much, class. Okay, stay safe. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. My demo teaching about uh, sentence structure. Thank you for watching. God bless po. Stay safe, ma'am. Stay safe. Bye-bye.